The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We start out with something a little bit different. I posted a chart of the DAX on the weekly basis, but before we get to that, I have an announcement to make. On, on the January 6th and 7th, there's going to be a two-hour show on the 6th and then also on the 7th for the Foundations for the Study of Cycles. They have some pretty sharp dudes in there. Uh, and anyway, if you just go to their website, you can sign up for it, FSC and uh, .com, I believe it is, Foundation for the Study of Cycles. And they, you know, there'll be different approaches of things, but uh, really, uh, really good information. Remember, folks, when we have guests on here. You know, that's their opinion. And uh, you sh some of them are good, some of them aren't. But that's true of everything we do here. And you've got to remember that. And the thing that you got to remember about, you got to worry about that main cycle. That's that one between your left ear and your right ear. And the old cowboy here in Tucson is having a little trouble these last few days. Uh, as you know, I lost a very dear friend uh, last week. Uh, I have another neighbor that's uh, now very, very sick. And so uh, I've had a lot of extra things going on. I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. And I've uh, been super frustrated. So today is going to be my last show until next year. I'll be doing the newsletter and I'll be sending out trades if I see anything. But frankly, don't be expecting much because uh, I'm uh, I'm really not thinking well. Let me let me explain something to you. When Mark Douglas and Paula moved here back in 1996, uh, he he was getting ready to write the book. Uh, trading in the zone and uh, we were going to rent an office together and our house was large enough to accommodate, accommodate him and he only lived about uh, oh, so about a quarter of a mile away and so we worked out of that office and during that time we probably had the next four years we probably had I would say somewhere between 30 yeah, right around 30 people come. I mean, these were people that were really, really great traders. Some of them super, super. I mean, one dude, if I told you what his name was, uh, you would say, no, you didn't see him. Yeah, well, we did. Anyway, I, I chatted with Paula yesterday because when I, whenever I have tr trouble psychologically, I go to her because she worked with Mark every day. And she actually lived with him because they were married, but she knew everything he was doing, and she's extremely smart. And so I started chatting with her, and I said, look, I made some errors, you know, and, and I was frustrated with myself. I'll share these errors with you in a little bit. And she just laughed, and she says, Larry, she says, you're not remembering. And I says, what do you mean? She says, do you remember what that main thing was that all of these great guys, and I believe me, I'm so far from great, it's it's not even I'm open for discussion. But she says, all these people that do this, they had one thing in common, and they understand when their feelings are not right, they're not going to be acting correctly. And she says, that's exactly what's happening. And let me, I'll show you the trade that, you know, proved it to me uh, today, and I'll, I'll show you. But I'll be, the one thing you want to do is after I've taken five or six days off uh don't fade me because uh i i am going to be on a streak that uh usually uh, lasts uh, maybe half a day i don't know all i can tell you is i'm very aware uh when i'm aware of this and, and so i'm i want to be very very careful to tell you this did i ever tell you the story about my my uh one of my famous mentors uh that uh that i had here i don't know if i ever did his name was leo he died uh uh, he died at the age of uh, 67, and uh, he uh, he had accomplished so many things. He had done some of the really most incredible things with market stuff you'd ever you'd ever see. Some of these things are hallmarks of what people use in these markets. I mean, it's just really amazing. But uh, he he didn't have a family. He died. Uh, and he gave all of his he gave all of his money away. He had some you know little toys and stuff, but that didn't count for very much. But he died at the age of sixty seven. He he wasn't even in the country where he lived. He was living with a friend uh, in France, and uh, you know it was just really amazing. And on his deathbed, you know what he said? Uh, oh, region, what your interpretation seems to be? Okay, somebody. Okay, let, but but he said. Uh, 
he said, I've lived my life in vain. He said, I've never really never really accomplished very much, and I feel like I've lived my life in vain. And he died. And he's very famous, folks. His name is Leonardo. And I'm not talking about Leonardo da Pisa, the Fibonacci. I'm talking about the big Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Died at age 67 in France with a friend. And you could stop and think, you can, anybody that has ever heard of anything, anybody in anything, he's, he's affected all their lives. He knew the helicopter, submarines, all this stuff, automatic weapons, airplanes. I mean, he did and the human body. I mean, he did all of these wonderful things. And yet he lived his life in vain. And uh, you stop and think about that. This man, if you ever read anything about his life, well, when Sarah and I got married, one of the things on my bucket list was to go to see where Leonardo da and she lived in Italy. So we spent a month in Florence and Siena and uh, just had an absolute incredible time. But we went up there and spent three days in this little town of Vinci. He comes Leonardo of Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, he was, he was a son of a share of a, uh, an accountant who was quite wealthy. Uh, but he, his mother was one of the sharecroppers. And so they were never married. And about the age of four, he realized his son was incredibly talented. So he said, him to Florence to, to study, and then that was the rest of his life and stuff, you know. But anyway, he actually died in France, and it took him, I think, two centuries to get the body from France back to Italy. And I believe he's... Uh, Anyway, that's the story of that. So, folks, don't don't be hard on yourself. I, I sometimes I get, uh, and I am hey, telling you this because you, I know a lot of you guys go. Th- I know Mr. Z does because I talk to him all the time. You, when you get it, when you get in a period where you're frustrated and you're not acting correctly, stop. And so I'm stopping today. You know, I I'm just not going to do it. I need a break anyway. Uh, and of course, when you lose a friend and you know other people around you are having trouble and stuff, it uh, it, it affects you. And so I, I made some air and trading let's get let's get back to what you guys pay for listening here but let's look at we saw the DAX on the weekly what you want to be doing now is to watch the DAX here on the 60 minute because this is where you determine what your risk is going to be and as you can see here we are making a perfect Gartley here uh, it's just absolutely perfect. You can see it. It's just a little bit higher. So you might want to be watching that over the next few days. We'll be following it, and we come back after the first of the year. We'll watch them, some of these things, you know, how they're unfolding. I think it's important that we review what we're doing here. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the FTSE, and you can see the FTSE is also making a Gartley. All righty, let's get this up here and see this. Here's where we are. You can see the beautiful Gartley that's that's uh, going there, and that's uh, another one that's lining up. Now, the, what I want to do now is I want to show you the trade that, that that made me realize that, you know, what the heck am I doing? You know, this is silly to be doing this. I had an order to stop by gold at 1818. I thought that when it got through there, boy, it's really going to run. And I, in fact, I was chatting about the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, the pattern and and the, and the methodology I was doing with Paula yesterday afternoon, and she again she she laughed at me. She says, "Larry, she says you know it by breakouts," and I said, "You know you're absolutely right." She said, "You're trading, you're being, you're frustrated, so stop." And so I'm going to stop now. You know why? Because we have a commercial eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have a comment uh, about the uh, seminar that's going to be held by the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. It's going to be on January 6th and 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. So it's two days, two hours each day. And all you have to do is to go to foundationforthestudyofcycles.com or fsc.com. Just Google Foundation for the Study of Cycles. You'll have your thing there, and you just uh, sign it up, and you'll be ready to uh, be able to do it. Now, the thing that you want, there's going to be a Bill Meridian from Cycles Research, Jake Bernstein. He's been around forever. He's a great guy and a really good market technician. And and then also Andy Pancholi, we've had him as a guest before from the UK. He's a uh, he does a lot of astrology and cycle stuff. And another gentleman from uh, Denmark that I'm not sure who he is. I've never heard of him, but the other three I know are are very good. You know, I watch it. Just maybe I might get one or two good ideas out of it. You know, that's that's all I uh, I want to be. Uh, be aware of so that's what we're paying attention to getting back to that gold trade i would just be getting stopped out of it right now losing my ten dollars and the reasoning why i looked at that chart and i said why in the heck would i be doing that i'm very very bullish gold and i want to buy it now let's go back and think what's happened since 2016 2017 18 19 20 and here we are in 1921 Every single December, gold has had some type of a major move right after that. Now, gold has been in this tight trading range from, what, uh, 2000 to uh, 1700 $300 trading range now for almost a year. And uh, so there's going to be something big happening to it. And I was thinking that maybe if it popped out above 1818, you know, you would be able to you'd be able to pay attention to that. Now, I, when I thought about it last night, I said, this is what I have to do. I said, and I should have been going short because of that small pattern. And that's what my forte is. You put me on a 15 minute chart and these dudes are not going to beat me very often. When you get into those longer things like dailies and weeklies, I don't like to take the risk at that, folks. I didn't spend all this time doing what I do to take a lot of risk and I am not going to do it and I'm not going to do it now so let's remind ourselves of that so let's move on to a couple other ones that look really interesting the whole thing that started this process for me of reevaluating what the hell I'm doing right now is the fact that I missed that fabulous trade 
uh, in the in the crude oil. We were waiting for it. I mean, everything said that this thing was getting ready to, uh, you know, get ready to take off. You look at this daily. Let's just get this up here so we the folks can take a look at it. This is the daily crude oil right here. And as you can see here, we're completing an ABCD up here. You can see the 61% retracement came in at 76.78 today. I I don't know where the darn thing was, but uh, that's where we were uh, today. Now th this is a this is a pattern that is sellable. I mean, there's no question about it. That that's got everything that you want. I didn't put that order in, and I'm probably going to be. Uh, you know, beat myself. I'm, like, hey, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm just, it's just a mistrade, it, you know, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. Let me show you why I missed the, the, the real monster in the crude oil. That's the one that was the really beauty one. And we did, hey, I, I shouldn't complain. We took well over $5,000 out of this thing during the month of December. We had the bottom there. Beautiful three drive to a bottom. You see, then the market rallies up, comes down to a right at a 50% retracement, goes up. We sold it up there, and then we covered it at the 382 pattern. All right. And the, the, the frustration was the one that where you see the bottom at the 61% retracement at 66 57. That's the one that started uh, my frustration index uh, to get as high as it is today. And I, guess what? I'm going to stop complaining right as now because, folks, if it's only, you know, <laughs> I've been so lucky in my life. God really has blessed me. Let me tell you, it's really been something. But on that day, when we hit the 61% retracement, I want to show you where we were. We were right in the show. We were doing it on the show. And I and I was telling people this is what was happening. We had this beautiful butterfly pattern setting right at the 61% retracement. That was at 66.56. The low was 66.12. 40 to 400 dollars. That 400 dollars turned into nine grand. And then you'll notice it goes up and it misses the 382 by 100 bucks. And away it goes again. Anyway, those are just some of the things that you have to worry about when you're doing the trading. But you've got to realize that you come to a point where if you're making mistakes like this and you're in the, this frame of mind that I'm in, I'm very, I'm, I'm overly tired, not not physically overtired, but mentally overtired. And uh, for bad reasons don't make any difference. But uh, the thing is, uh, you've got to be well rested. And I'm going to take some rest here. And when I come back at the first of the year, uh, I'll I'll be ready. That's for sure. It only takes me a few days because I miss it so much. I mean, I this is like a giant chess game for me, and uh, I really enjoy it very much. Unfortunately, sometimes, you know, like a time that we're going through right now, that I have to go to someone to help me. And by golly, the person that helps me is uh, Paula, Mark's wife, and she's very good at what she does. She brings me back down to reality, and that's the main thing. So someone's asking me, could you tell us the name of that trader? I cannot. I promised uh, Mark that I would never reveal any of these guys' names. And the one thing, even though Mark's gone, you know, Paula reminded me. She says, you can say any stories you want. She says, but do not, you know, tell their names or don't give them any hints of who it was. But uh, uh, and I, I won't do that. But I, I, a lot of these guys came through here, folks. I mean, believe me, there were some pretty and it was fun. I mean, all of them had the same qualities. They were really nice. They were humble. Uh, there were when there wasn't one egotistical person in that whole group. They were all very thankful for what they were doing and how they did it. And uh, so, you know, all they all that was what they shared. So it's very important that we remember that now. Let's take a look at the market here for a little bit because we're going to be coming into some really serious patterns, folks. Let's take a look at the first one we're going to look at, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average itself. Now, this is uh, this is the daily, and this is the Dow Jones Index. We're trading about uh, 700 points uh, below this number that we're looking at of possibly 37,000. You can see that would be a three drive to a top pattern. And it would also be another ABCD between uh, the November the 29th when we made the 78% retracement. Then back on the 20th, a month later, we came down to a 61% uh, uh, retracement. And all that mentions that you're going to be up to the 3,700 level. Now, folks, if you look at the bottom there, uh, the last bottom on the point C, look how that market exploded to the upside. 
what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be watching these explosions coming off of these numbers because the trends are so strong on some of these things that it's really amazing. Now, we've got tools that we use to try to get us into strong trending markets, and I'm going to be watching these very closely. When we get back from this next break, we've got a break in a minute, I'm going to share with you uh, some of the things that I've learned over my past uh, 61 years looking at this. They've never let me down before, uh, and sometimes, you know, I'm my timing might be off, but uh, I, I will be able to give you some ideas of what I expect to happen. And that's certainly possible because I, I really believe that we're looking at something that is historic. I mean, it is really historic that a few people have any indications of uh, what it means for a longer time frame. So be careful. Cuidado, as they say in Spanish, danger. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to run through some slides here, uh, pictures from uh, that I, I've got from uh, Elliott Way people. They do some really good historical work, but I want to weave a story around this. The first one was on the uh, – you'll take a look at what's happening with uh, – 
the uh, valuations and market breadth. That's the main thing that you want to be looking at. Even though we're making new highs, some of these are far from uh, making new highs. The next one we're going to look at here is the one on margin debt. And then there's going to be another one there that you'll see that is the uh, the real the ratio of real uh, retail money uh, that is related to the market ratio, which is really see record low money uh, market investment in, in 2009, which was the bottom of the market, and now you see where we're going in the opposite direction right now. The next one we're going to be looking at here is the one from hold on one second, I'll get this up here. The reason why I'm showing you this, you got to be careful up in here. This one here is this one should scare you to death if you're in the market here this is the one on uh, re highest equity to retail sales and stuff it's the highest in, in history and uh, I will tell you this uh, on on uh, the day after Christmas here in uh, Tucson we have a, a really nice poker room and uh, they have a, a after Christmas a tournament for the orphans and stuff and they throw in some money and we play in the tournament you put in a hundred bucks that goes to charity and then they they add twenty five thousand dollars as you we had about a hundred people this year I finished in the money I think I was about eight I won about oh I think I won about six hundred and twelve dollars I believe which I turned around and you know gave it back to him because I was basically there just to have a lot of fun and they the, the, well, these guys I'm playing with now for 28 years so they know who I am and the fact that I was that I used to speak at the University of Arizona when Dr. Leslie who was my poker playing buddy uh, till he retired and I, I'm pretty good at telling people you know be careful and you know or buy like crazy you know most people they don't care but during this time one of two or three of the people came up one particular and his name has to also be larry and also starts with a p and uh he, he was telling me he said are you uh, how do you feel about the market right now and i said well so now's where you got to be careful so he says well you're wrong this time and i say i'm wrong a lot of times i said maybe this is one of those times but i said why am i wrong he says well it just keeps going high and I said, well, that's good enough reason. Then hang on to you, make as much as you want, then get out. If you don't make as much, then stay out. But he didn't have, he, you know, didn't gave me any explanation of why he wanted to do it. I wasn't about to tell him the things that I'm telling you now because it wouldn't make any difference. He wouldn't believe me. But what happened was when I was at the university, I started, you know, giving these. I gave a one, I gave a one, I gave one five-hour class. Uh, once a year for five years, it was a credit class. They got one. They got one credit for this class from the School of Business, and uh, I. From that, I was invited to go to Pepperdine University over in Los Angeles, right there by Malibu, which is one of my favorite places to to sit and watch the ocean. And I gave a talk to the business students there. And one of the professors that was listening uh, in the, into the room here happened to be on the board of directors for the regents of where the money should go. And he asked me if I would give that same presentation to the regents. And so I did. And it was in 2000. It was March 1st or 2nd, uh, first week in March. March of 2000, and I told him, you know, I said, this is what I was looking at. I mean, same type of stuff I'm looking at here. I said, I don't do fundamentals. I'm doing technicals. And I said, all you have to do is if you go below that low over the first week of March, you do not want to be involved in the NASDAQ stocks. And so they did it, and they got out of everything, and it saved them a, lots of money. And they, they sent me a very, very lovely gift that I still have to this day. But, you know, I'm telling you, folks, uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I, there, there's the not a person out there with maybe this may be Basil, but I've been doing a little bit longer than Basil, so I might be a neck ahead. Uh, but I've been studying everything. I went back to the Tula bulbs. I went back to the South Sea Island bubbles, all that stuff, and looked at all these things and the rate of ascent and how things move. It never changes. It's never any different. You know, what's going on now is the same thing we happened with the dot-com bubble in 2000. But the dot-com bubble was a once-in-a-generation thing. Maybe this is the second time in a generation. I don't know. But, uh, you know, that dot-com, if the phone rang at one of these companies and there was a potential sale, the stock would jump 30%. At least now you're seeing you know what's happening right now is is really uh, really spectacular this has happened again folks it was 1929 we had some of the greatest things that ever happened in our in that our country stop and think of this folks we had we had 2,000 automobile companies you know we were just right from horse and buggies now we've got 2,000 automobile companies we had air conditioning we had elevators skyscrapers uh, heating 
uh, ice a box instead of having the guy bring the ice thing. I, 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 when I was little, I used to ride on the ice trucks where they would put the ice on the top of the refrigerator. And uh, the, all that stuff, you know, all that stuff is changing. So I'm giving you a warning here. I don't know when it's going to happen. And uh, all I know is that this is uh, this is one that I'm going to be ready for. But we'll, uh, we'll it's going to give you so many chances to trade it. Don't even worry about it. And I'm not worried about it because I know exactly what the game plan is. We've seen it in gold, crude oil, all of them. They all act the same. You know why? Because we're all human beings and we all have that same psychological DNA factor that makes us work, fear and greed. You know, so our goal here is to not lose any money, but uh, let's try to make something when it does finally happen. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I know it's coming and it, it's not very far away because you're starting to see, you know, starting to see signs of it. In 1929, there was a man named Roger Babson. He was really famous. He was a good friend of H.M. Gartley, and uh, he was warning people in July of uh, 1929 to be very careful that there was a market crash coming and people were going to get hurt. And he continued to preach that all the way through. And finally, it did happen in October, you know, in September, September 3rd, two months later, the market fit did turn down. Now, he wasn't famous uh, for calling a top. He's famous because he didn't call a top, and it went up another two months. But believe me, he made a lot of money on the way down. There's a Babson, uh, Roger Babson uh, College or University uh, there. I think it's around Massachusetts somewhere. And uh, he was very, very successful. He did a lot of things with, uh, uh, you know, technical analysis. Uh, and he was very, very bright. And, and in fact, there was a rumor. In fact, it was not a rumor, but he bought Isaac Newton's headboard. It was an oak headboard. And on that headboard was the chambered nautilus, you know, that spiral ammonite that we see here, the oldest living things on our planet, that he owned that bed. But uh, I don't know if – and that bed was supposed to be at uh, Wellesley College for quite a few years, but you can't find any references now of where it might be. But uh, that's supposedly uh, very interesting to see what's happening. But this is the one that you want to be most dangerously uh, afraid of, and that's this one right here. Uh, get up, you know, be able to see that how much money has gone into the uh, stock market. More money has gone into the stock market in 2021 than the past decade combined. Stop and think of that, folks. The past decade combined. That should just scare the bejeebies out of you. When the only way is up, the only way is down. So be very, very careful. What I'm afraid of, and I'm I think this is not going to end well. It's going to end with something that's probably going to have, oh, my God, what are we going to do now? But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, before we get to the other market stuff that I wanted to talk about, I want to bring a couple charts to your attention. One is the wheat. You can see yesterday we went uh, exactly up to the 61% uh, retracement. We're now trading below $8 uh, a bushel now. That's dropped quite a bit, about 30 cents a bushel off of that. There was another one that uh, was in my two my wish list that I missed <laughs> just by not paying attention. But let's take a quick look here uh, at the euro because I think the euro – is going to be really interesting, you know, on a uh, on a long term basis. Let me get this up here so we can uh, you'll be able to see it here. One second here. This is the weekly chart of the euro. Again, these currencies have a, t a tendency to change around the first of the year. I don't know if it's going to be this year, but no one does either. But you'll notice that we've been in this flat range here for well over uh, seven months, and we're right near that 61% retracement down there at 111. Okay, and if we take a look at the euro uh, on a uh, daily basis, let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it here. One second. There it is. You'll see that this will show you this on a shorter term, uh, different than a weekly, of course. But you'll see we've been here for uh, from this level. Just look for look at the low in December. We go to the 382. We've gone sideways for a month. I mean, give me a break. That thing's getting ready to you know at least take those lows out, and maybe it takes it out at the 61 percent retracement and turns. But other than that, you just have to uh, wait. Here's where we are on an intraday basis, looking at the uh, smaller cycles that are there that are certainly tradable. As you can see, we went up to the 78% level, and every time we hit it, the market backed off anywhere from 30 to 50 pips. So uh, that that's another one that we want to pay very, very close attention to as we go through and look at some of these charts. Now, we've already posted the one for the S&P. We posted the one for the NASDAQ. Uh, I haven't done the NASDAQ yet. I want to do that for Mr. Z because he was just asking about that. And here is the question that uh, came up. You'll notice that in the past uh, few months, we had a big correction way back in October. We had the same correction back here in November. That really quick one from the uh, 22nd of November down into the December 6th. We did not make a new high here. We've come, we didn't even come close uh, to making a new high like we did in the S&P. So that's a little frust. You know, that what I don't know what that means. I'm just giving you the information. But look at this one here, folks. This is the the uh, Russell. This this market really took a big hit when it made new highs. And now you see it's rallying back. So that's uh, we'll keep that that one in mind, uh, also very very closely. I I posted. There's uh, so many market statistics that you could look at that shows you how much the market is overbought. By the way, Stan Harley was supposed to be our guest today, but he was uh, held up in travel. He was going back from uh, Phoenix back to uh, Philadelphia. 
and he had a problem with the connection, so he's not able to get through uh, today. So we'll have Stan on right after the first of the year. We'll have him up there so we can, uh, you know, see what uh, see what he's doing. So uh, that'll give you some really good information. Uh, he always does, along with some of our other guests. So. And we want to thank Shane Smolian for all his great information yesterday. He's certainly done a great job, and uh, he is one of our uh, most uh, influential and informative guests that we have on this show. And he's, he's still a young man. Holy cow, most of these guys are pretty old. Okay, let's uh, get back to uh, one other thing that uh, I wanted to mention. I've covered the goal. Ah, natural gas. Just one second here, folks. Uh, <clears throat> there is... Uh, I, I did this 15 minute yesterday on the show, but you can see here that we're we have not taken out that four dollar level, folks. So we come down today. I don't know how low we've gotten, but uh, it was telling we we're getting ready to back off a little bit. And uh, Mike, there should be some really strong support. But there's one other thing that you got to mention. You got to remind ourselves here on this long term weekly that we covered in the newsletter that 350 level. In that natural gas is really, really important on a long-term basis. And remember, natural gas is coming down during you know uh, a time when it usually rallies, so it's doing contra-seasonal activity, which is a little bit suspect. So you've got to remind ourselves that that's another one that you want to pay uh, very close attention to. Now, I'm not <clears throat> the bonds and notes are under a great deal of pressure, and they should be, because if they do any of these things with the politicians are doing with the uh, 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 Bend Over America, whatever it's called, I can't even remember what the name of it is, oh, Build Back America, uh, if they start borrowing money for that, sure, it's going to bring in jobs and stuff, but it's going to they have to borrow it somewhere, it's going to be in the bond market. So that's why you're going to see bonds under a great deal of pressure. We'll probably get back to 4 or 5% eventually. Remember, for years, those bonds were always somewhere between 4 and 7% returns. And it wasn't until a few years ago when they gave us that wonderful opportunity and people took advantage of it. How would you like to be one of these bozos out there that bought into this, uh, you know, uh, you give me the money, okay? I'm not going to give you any uh, guarantee that you're going to get it back, and then you're going to have to pay me to hold your money while I do this thing in the bonds. It's called negative interest rates. It's a really great idea. God. You know, I'm not a rocket scientist, folk. I'm far from it. You know, I got a couple of degrees, you know, but by golly, that's so much common sense. You could ask that to a three-year-old. Give me your one dollar, okay? I'll take your dollar, and I'll give you back uh, 90 cents uh, maybe in three years. And the little boy is going to say, not fair, not fair. And uh, that's exactly uh, what uh, what it's all about. So that's that's enough. Hey, I, I was just using common sense, folk. Back in the envelope math, you know, let me see. Someone gives me, uh, they want me to give them a thousand dollars, and they're only going to, they they can't guarantee me they're going to get my money back, and I'm only going to be charged. I'm only going to pay them a hundred dollars for them to hold my money with no return. Mm, boy, it sounds really interesting. I think I'll buy into that. Well, some of that stuff is what's going on these days in some of these other markets with the uh, uh, advent of fear and greed, folks. Remember, fear is a greater emotion than greed because markets come down faster than they grow up because fear is an emotional thing. Greed is euphoric, but with fear you have dilated pupils, right? Shortness of breath, right? Diaphoresis or sweating, right? Anyway, you got to be careful. Yeah, we're going to be all right here. We're going to be just fine. Copper uh, is, uh, Mr. Z is, uh, copper is poised to rally again. I, I haven't looked at copper. In fact, you know, Z, I haven't looked at copper in about a week. All I know is that once we went above that 382 at uh, 439, uh, I believe that's when it triggered that. Uh, yeah, I, the last I saw in copper was 441, and it was above the 382, so it had a positive bias, but I, I don't really know. The fact is, Z, as I mentioned here, I'm not in a uh, – I stopped being in a trading mode actually the end of last week, and I should have realized it then. But uh, uh, when, when, when Howie passed away, that really triggered it, you know, that I really wanted to do that. Yeah, let me have much time. We have much time. Uh, when we get back to the break, I'm going to give you some advice that uh, I gave to Tom Hugard uh, over the uh, – 
uh, you know, over the weekend that maybe you would uh, you, you might enjoy it because it worked well for me. I got it from my grandfather, so I think you'll I think you'll enjoy this advice, and uh, it, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but. You're going to get the advice anyway. It's what we call two cents worth. So we're going to take a break here. We get back here. We're going to wind the year up, believe it or not, 14 years at TFNN. Holy moly guacamole. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, after my show here, we go to uh, Chicago for TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, Fast Market. Mm -hmm. And then also we have TFNN with Tom O'Brien ending the show here at 3 p.m. I'll be back with you guys back on January the 3rd. And But I did want to tell you a little story. Uh, when I, my sister and I were naughty, uh, what my aunt and my my uh, grandmother and my mother would do, they would take us in the old jalopy and go over to this little uh, tent city or shanty town there in Terre Haute, Indiana called Taylorville and show us how lucky we really are to have a roof over our house and, uh, you know, food and all that stuff because these people were really tough. So Tom O'Brien, who has everything God could want, because whenever God 
God borrows money, he goes to Tom. And uh, Tom was saying, I don't know what to do with my five-year-old. She's just She just wants everything. And I told him a story. I said, is there a place there where there's homeless? And he said, sure. I said, take her over there and show her what it's really, what life is really like if you're, if you're not fortunate. Maybe she'll really understand that. And believe me, <laughs> it went through. It came through pretty good. So uh, my kids, uh, a big turning point for them was back when they were eight or nine. And I was at Drexel and uh, one, you know, they were in Westlake Village, totally spoiled rotten, but good kids. And so we took them down to the City of Hope down there in Southern California to where they're sick kids very similar to St. Jude's Hospital these are the sickest kids in uh, in California all over the world and anyway we went through that facility and I'd been with Lily for many years well 10 years and I, I I had been that was part of my turf and so I knew some of the people and we got to show what these kids had to go through boy that was it they uh, they never they, they always took Christmas as a time for giving and not for taking and so that's what it should be anyway but who knows hey we're going to take a final break here. I want to thank you guys for joining me all these years, and I'll be back Monday, the January the 3rd, with bells on and whistles, and we're going to have some good ideas for trades, and I'll be well rested. You can probably bet on that, but you never know. It's all about risk control, folks. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose, and that's the whole key to what we're doing. See you next year, boys and girls. May God bless. 